Hey everybody, welcome back. We are in the truck. We're just leaving Hans's shop and he's going to take us for part two of the John Deere D collection tour. Hi. Raylan's in the back with us and we are headed just down the road to take a look. So stay tuned. Okay, we're here with Hans. He's going to give us a quick tour of the second building. And uh, just kind of give us the lay of the land, I suppose, what we got. Sure. Uh, first one in the corner here is a 37D. Uh, it's one my dad bought, oh, back in the late 70s. So this one here has been on the farm here a long, long time. Okay. So uh, one of them tractors that never got used much, it's kind of a dandy here. So. It's fine. Okay. One behind you. 40 oh, 10, this one here, yeah. Yeah, 4010 high crop. High crop diesel. Come from Fort Myers, Florida originally. We got a drainage pump with a neighbor, so it gets quite a few hours every summer if we get heavy rain. It pumps a lot of water for us. Okay. It gets a little use. That's a that's a using tractor. That's still a user. <laughs> that's still a farmer. And then we got a 36 AO here. A orchard. <laughs> Full steel that come from the Wolf Point in Montana auction years back. Okay. Uh, next we got a 37B, 36B on round spokes. That's another one my dad bought back in the late 70s. Okay. Been, been here a long time. Got some neat Sears and Roebuck tires on the back. Okay. Then we got another D. And the next one is 39. Unstyled D. Got front extensions. Not too many unstyled 39s. They're yeah, that's for sure. Kind of hard, hard to find. Okay, I gotta put you down so we can walk through here. Yeah, it gets pretty narrow. We got an extra trailer in here. <laughs> this here's an extra 33. It's la towards the end of the depression and it's uh, I think there was what 500 and some in 33. So that's kind okay. of oh, an interesting air cleaner yeah. on there too. Put together yeah, a they had a different. big, big horsehair uh, element in them. Here's a 30, early 35A on round spokes with the early, early knobby tires. Oh. Okay. This was my neighbor's tractor, and his, his wife. It was his mom and dad's, or her, her mom and dad. So it, that's kind of a local tractor too. It hasn't been very far. Been since new. It's been within a half a mile here. Okay. So yeah. Never made it real far. Never made, <laughs> never made it very far. No. A lot of miles on it, but not from far yeah, from home. And, and them tires there, that they're really neat tires on the back. Yeah. And a little VR here on steel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tony just picked up one of these, one of my friends. Not on steel, but nice little tractor. Yeah. And we got a 2010 high crop. That was an export. Went to Mexico originally. All the all the gauges in it are in Spanish. Oh, <laughs> no no hydraulics, no power steering. Just the bare bones there. Hmm. And we got a forty one here on steel. Forty one D. Original paint. Okay. Extensions on there. We got more tucked in the corner here. Yeah, we got a li <laughs> nice little L way in the back corner there. Oh see, sure, but yeah, it's a nice. It's in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice straight, straight L. I've got a B old Lindemann. Okay. Obviously, I hadn't backed that out for a year or two. Yeah, it's been there since last fall, at least. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the parts bin. Here's an M. I got this up in the UP in Michigan. Okay. That's, that's the original paint. When oh wow. Over. Yeah, it is. It is immaculate. R original tires, front, back. Well, that's got to be a real tight track. It then. is. Yeah, it's uh, it's beautiful. Huh. Yep. Yep. Front. I didn't think they were that shiny new. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> uh, other than the muffler, the muffler was uh, rusted away. I put a new muffler on it, but the rest of it's all original. 
And okay. Oh, we got an AOS. Is that what it is? We got an AOS here. It looks like we've got some bats up above. We're going to have to do some cleaning here. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, got 2020 orchard here. 2020 orchard. That was the last John Deere that had a hand clutch. It's got a hand clutch in it yet. Okay. Kind of unique. Shifting is very unique. We'll get around the back side and we'll take a view of that. Uh, GP orchard in the corner here on Cape Runners. Another rare setup. And I got it from a guy in Iowa, but he had gotten it from somebody in California. So it was a, it's not a citrus, it's just an orchard. Okay. So there's the GPO. And then on the back of the 2020 here, here's, here's the hand clutch right here. Oh, wow. That's the clutch. Huh. And then the gear shifter, it's the same as a regular 2020, <laughs> but then they got all this extra linkage for in and out and up and down. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's quite quite something to shift there. Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> looks like you got two throttles. <laughs> yeah, they were really thinking there. Uh, we got a BI here, B industrial. Okay. I run anytime I need to belt up a tractor or whatever to get started. This is this is the day, and you got with the parking brake. That's pretty handy. Oh sure, yeah. Yep. yep. And then we got the big eighty twenty here. That's a big one. Yeah. They made made a hundred of them. This is number fifty five. Trying to find different tires. I'm I'm gonna need new tires for it. And we're probably not gonna be able to get a video of it, but this is a twenty eight D with a California special drawbar. Huh? It's got a drawbar that swings way wide to each side. Okay. So they could get underneath the trees. Yeah, I think easier. I've seen. Uh some yeah. pictures of them yeah. or in the parts I book maybe. I don't know if you can get behind there at all or not, but it's, it's, it's under there. Yeah, a little yeah, dark, but it, you it, can see yeah, where the draw see, bar is. Yeah, oh yeah, there's swing, a lot of it, swing in there. Yeah, she swings way over. Huh. So that's going to get in the shop next winter and get fixed up. Well, that fender, you can probably just pound that right out. That's, <laughs> that'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> We'll do our best on them fenders. <laughs> uh, GP wide tread. Here we got a GP wide tread side steer. Kind of a nice original. Mm-hmm. Had had this a long, long time, long time. That's a nice tracker, off. though. But it turned off. No, it's still on. And then we got a G here. Unstyled G. Uh, let's take a look at the serial number. It's 190, 194. So very early. Very early. It doesn't have the small letters in the back, but it's it's an early one. And then the radiator's got the updated radiator. But mm -hmm. Yeah, on skeleton. Then I got new lugs for it, so we got to get new lugs put on or different lugs put on it. Okay. And I don't know if we can get. Some through here or not. You're gonna have to sneak through. Yeah, it's tight here. Oh. I really didn't need this big I'm hole. stuck. <laughs> Good thing we got a magnet on the camera. <laughs> and, and maybe some editing. <laughs> Very major. And the 35B here. Got the self-cleaning wheels on front. Mm -hmm. Early, early skeletons on the back. Kind of a nice original. Yeah, that's a nice survivor. A little bit of silk screen on the hood, yep. Mm -hmm. That's my daughter, that's, that's her favorite track to drive around. Very cool. So, that's about the end of it for this shed. For this shed? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's shed number three. <laughs> Got a 2010 here, nice all original. We uh, use this all summer long on the grain bin auger, so get, this one gets a lot of use yet. Okay, kind of neat with the narrow front on the the later models. It's something you don't see very often, that's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of a nice, nice all original yet. Uh, here's my son's 530. He's got okay, kind of a nice original. Uh, got a parts D here. Up in front, we got a 
48 with turning brakes and a parking brake. Hmm. So that's another one that's got to get in the shop and get, get fixed up. Kind of unique options. For yeah, the brakes. there was some that had turning brakes, but there wasn't very many that had the, the actual parking brake. Okay. Sneak around here. Okay. Watch out for the nails. Yeah. Look at all oh, the top. Here's another 50. Yeah, that, this one belongs to my son. With power steering, too. Yeah, this is his favorite tractor. He loves driving this one. <clears throat> nice original. Then we got a 38A sitting there. All original. Beautiful silk screen on it, yep. Yeah, you can see it plain as day. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's dusty from sitting in here, but yeah, that's a beautiful original. Mm -hmm. And then we got a early 27 here. And this actually has the number one DLTX carburetor on it okay. in the different air cleaner. So this one's going in the shop this summer and I'm gonna strip paint and okay. get this one fixed up. That's yeah, kind of a... Number ones are hard to find, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, this, this is a unique tractor, yeah. yeah. This is a 27 to somebody, or and most people, but yeah, with the number one carburetor, it's very unique. Do you know what the serial number is by chance? I wonder if it, how close it is to mine. I got 44891. Give me a second here, we'll get the light out. And probably the glasses. 46,000. Okay. Just a couple thousand after mine then. Cool. Yeah, because they had the they had the 304 mm -hmm. carburetor, and then they went to the number one carburetor, and I believe they went back to the 304 again. Yeah, that's what I think from looking at the parts manuals. Yeah, and then and then they come with the number three. Well, it's true, the number number one and number three are basically the same, except mm -hmm. for the flange on the end. Cool. Why they went back and forth, I couldn't tell you. But. Hmm. So yeah, that's about the. Tucked away in the shed again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. We are back from Hans's, and that was part two of a three-part series on a tour of his collection. So big, big thank you to Hans, not only for showing us around his collection, but um, for helping out with taking the clutch pulleys apart and the first reduction gear and shafts apart. Um, I got a quick snippet to show you guys real quick here. So here we are. We've got both clutch pulleys broken down. This is the clutch pulley out of the 28. This is the clutch pulley out of the 27. This is the first reduction gear out of the 27 with shaft and gears. And that is the first reduction gear and shaft out of the 28. Uh, one thing I didn't know um, the first reduction gear that came out of the 27 is a thick one, meaning the width of the gear this way across the teeth is wider than this one here out of the 28. The one out of the 28 is a later model gear. It must have been updated at some time. It's a hardened gear versus this one here. Uh, these are pretty known to be weak and um, kind of grenading inside the first reduction gear cover. And then when that happens, it pretty much explodes the uh, first reduction gear cover and busts it off the side of the tractor. So um, depending on how that one cleans up, we'll probably end up using the one out of the 28 because it is a better gear. Uh, the bearings off the, let's see, it would be the opposite end of the shaft. So the uh, flywheel side of the shaft, one of them looks pretty good. The other one, I'm not so sure. I've got the bearing carrier and bearing off of the reduction gear side soaking in the parts washer right now. Uh, we were able to get this clutch collar freed up and I'll get the clutch dogs off of that, get those kind of inspected and looked at, cleaned up, make sure they're gonna work because two out of the three from the 28 clutch were broken. So. 
Um, one last thing, the gears came off just fine. Took a lot of heat and a very big puller, but we got them off. Um, the gear off of the 27 is going to go on the pulley from the 28 because the pulley is in better shape than the 27. Uh, the 27 has, if you guys can see right here, there's a chip and then over here there's a chip. Now that's the inside of the inside edge of the pulley, but I'd rather have I'd rather have a nice pulley than you know put the original one back on it. So that's where we're at. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll keep cleaning parts and we'll see what we got to work with and hopefully we can put one good clutch pulley together. So Thanks for watching, guys. Big thank you again to Hans, and we'll see you in the next one.